वेलकम टू ची वाई एस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो दैट ऑन आर चैनल वी आर कवरिंग द सिलेबस ऑफ यू पी एस सी सी एस सी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन एंड फॉर दिस पर्पज वी हैव स्टार्टड मल्टीपल सीरीज ऑन आर चैनल दैट आर प्रिलिम्स ओरिएटेड एज वेल एज मेन्स ओरिएटेड सो करंटली वी हैव सिक्स प्रिलिम्स ओरिएटेड सीरीज इन विच वी इन विच वी प्रोवाइड यू द एम सी क्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट टॉपिक टॉपिक्स लाइक इन्वायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी एंशंट इंडिया मडीवियल इंडिया मॉडर्न इंडिया हिस्ट पॉलिटी जोग्राफी एंड एंड वी हैव वन मेन्स ओरिएटेड सीरीज इन विच वी डेली प्रोवाइड यू थ्री क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रैक्टिस एंड आल्सो वैल्यूट यूर आंसर्स एंड एंड प्रोवाइड यू द फीडबैक दैट इज मच नीडेड फॉर द फॉर द फॉर द फॉर द इवेल्युएशन ऑफ द आंसर फॉर द क्रिटिकल इवेल्युएशन ऑफ द आंसर सो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द एम सी क्यूज ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी सीरीज दैट वी हैव सो करंटली वी आर ऑन द लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टी एट वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपडेटेड अपलोडेड फोर्टी सेवन लेक्चर ऑफ द इन्वायरमेंट एंड इकोलॉजी एम सी क्यूज सो टूडे वी विल कवर द फोर्टी एट्थ लेक्चर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसर्नस ओवर द यूज एंड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ पोलीथाइलिन टेराफेथलेट हैव बीन रेस्ड बिकॉज फर्स्ट इज नो नॉन स्पीशीज ऑफ फंजाई और बैक्टीरिया कैन डीग्रेड पी ई टी पैट सेकेंड इज मैनुफैक्चरिंग पैट रेजिन जनरेट्स मोर टॉक्सिक एमिशन ऑफ निकल एंड बेनजीन दैन इन प्रोड्यूसिंग सेम अमाउंट ऑफ ग्लास सो फ्रेंड्स लेट मी टेल यू दैट द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट दैट इज नो 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 नॉन स्पीशीज ऑफ फंजाई और बैक्टीरिया कैन डीग्रेड पैट actually the 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 japan scientists in 2016 have they have uh, they have isolated successfully isolated a bacteria which can degrade the pet into simpler compounds and then can digest it so first statement is incorrect regarding the second statement second statement is friends correct because it raises it it generates more toxic emissions of nickel and benzene than in but then in producing same amount of glass so friends this the correct answer in this context is is second only that is b answer so here the solution is b as before you so friends in this way we cover your questions of in different topics so let's move on to the second question the friends here is the explanation of first question uh, there is uh, one species of bacterium in the enzyme that that has been the uh, the uh, in in the in the genus nocardia that can degrade pet and uh, it was basically uh, isolated by japanese scientists and uh, the name of the bacteria is idionella uh, sakinensis so th this possesses two enzymes which can break down the pet into smaller pieces which can digest the bacterium so first is incorrect so regarding the statement 2 i have already told you that manufacturing pet freezing generates more toxic emissions than manufacturing glass and the, the toxic emissions rates uh, were released by it are nickel ethyl benzene ethylene oxide benzene so this is about your first question so let's move on to the second question and the second question is which of the following play a role in the nitrogen cycle on the earth first is blue green algae second lightning third uptake of soil nutrients by plants fourth is terrestrial food chain so we have to tell which of the following play an important role in nitrogen cycle so friends let me tell you that yes blue green algae play an important role because uh, blue green algae uh, uh, it 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 takes up the nitrogen in the atmosphere and uh, it it converts it into proteins and other compounds and also lightning uh, uh, fixes to certain extent the nit nitrogen in the uh, atmosphere also the soil are uh, from the soil the plants uptake the uh, nutrient soil nutrients and nitrogen is also involved in this uptake and in this way nitrogen is transferred to the plants and also terrestrial food chain ha has a role to play in the nitrogen cycle so basically nitrogen cycle is what nitrogen cycle if you have read the ecology already so you might be knowing about this that nitrogen cycle is basically the process through which uh, the nitrogen completely undergoes a complete cycle so through it the in and 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 in this cycle it passes through different stages so it passes through terrestrial food chain also because because when animals feed on plants uh, the the new the the nitrogen that was that was uh, kind of uptake uh, that was in picked up by the plants uh, through uh, through their roots it gets transferred into the uh, terrestrial animals so the correct answer is all of these 1 2 3 4 so the correct answer is b 1 2 3 and 4 
so this is about your second question so the solution is b friends so here is the explanation so explanation is here but is it says nitrogen is one of the essential components and the atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken by plants and animals and let me tell you friends that atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken directly by plants and animals there are certain bacteria that and blue green algae that fix this uh, atmospheric nitrogen so that it can be it can be picked up by the by the by the plant roots and so the plant roots then then uptake this and then transfer this this nitrogen is transferred into the plants and it converts the plants they uh, in plants it gets converted into different nutrients and also friends uh, lightning also fixes atmospheric nitrogen so once nitrogen is converted into these usable compounds it can be utilized by plants from the soil through the their root system so next is friends nitrogen is also is is used for synthesis of plant proteins and other compounds and through this uh, it gets transferred into uh, animals when the when they eat the plant components so this percentage of nitrogen in atmosphere more or less in this way remains constant because when the plants and animals die ultimately the fungi and bacteria decompose this this new uh, nitrogen compounds into simpler forms that uh, that, that 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 are then again up uh, kind of we can say that that are that that that, that are kind of uh, taken up by the plants and also some nitrogen it, it goes back into the atmosphere due to the uh, kind of decomposition by certain type of bacteria so in this way the percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains more or less constant so let's move on to your next question third question is which of the following statements about the IUCN World Conservation Congress are correct so we have to choose the correct statements first is it is the highest decision making body of IUCN Second is IUCN Congress has a bearing on poverty elevation. Uh, third is it can be attended only by non-governmental organizations working for the environment. So let me tell you friends that only second statement is correct that is IUCN has a bearing on poverty elevation because friends uh, IUCN Congress it basically devises the uh, programs and uh, and different policies through which uh, the environment could be used for the for the for the to the 2016 world conservation congress specifically focused on this to devise the 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 policies uh, that 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 uses nature for the conservation of uh, for the conservation of uh, for the conservation of we can say uh, the plant species and the animal species and also for the poverty alleviation so obviously and uh, uh, the second statement is correct because regarding third statement third statement is not correct friends because non uh, both non governmental and governmental organizations participate in this congress so the correct answer is second only that is b so the solution is uh, uh, solution is b so justification is not the not the iuc in uh, co congress is not the highest decision making body it is actually the members assembly which is the highest decision making body so one is incorrect and also friends uh, it brings to debate and establish uh, uh, and uh, env establish environmental policy to pr prove the IUCN program so second statement friends this is uh, this the, the this 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 uh, this 2006 congress set the uh, 2016 congress set the course for the for using the nature based solutions to help move out millions out of poverty and friends moreover if uh, you put promote environment if you if you protect environment then certainly you will be able to get clean water clean environment obviously that will not pose you health risks and you will not be we, we, we will be facing the uh, burden of uh, kind of we can say the poverty so my millions can be can be can be brought out of the poverty by clean environment so obviously second statement is obviously correct so there is no 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 point in mentioning the obvious so statement three is it is held every four years and uh, and it, br it brings in together various governmental and non-governmental organizations let's move on to the fourth question the fourth question is lactobacillus uh, species of bacteria are useful in so the first statement is antibacterial and antifungal applications second control fermentation of some food products so friends like lactobacillus are, are, are a type of bacteria and uh, in this question we have been asked that well, which of the following statements are correct so already first and second second statement are before you so you have to choose that which of the following is correct so let me tell you friends first is also correct because it it releases certain 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 uh, certain 
compounds that have antibacterial and antifungal applications and also it helps in control fermentation of some food products like yogurt uh, yogurt and and we can say in in cheese in in cheese making and also yeast in this way it it is uh, it is it helps in control from uh, fermentation of some, some food products so the answer is both one and two so the solution is c and the justification is here before you it has a basically it, it produces uh, a bacterial since it, it basically it produces uh, and bacteriocins which and which and other low molecular weight compounds that inhibit these microorganisms so these species provide hydrogen per, uh, produce also hydrogen peroxide which inhibits the growth of the fungal pathogen candida uh, albic albicans so also there are certain lac uh, lactobacillus species that are used for, for the for the control fermentation in the production of yogurt cheese and and these uh, these uh, uh, cider beer kimchi cocoa kefir and other fermented foods so let's move on to the fifth question fifth question is consider the following about brugin algae first is they are a group of synth photosynthetic bacteria second is warm and nutrient rich water promote their growth third they are a keystone species throughout the arabian and indian ocean uh, fourth is excessive growth of blue green algae can deplete the amount of oxygen in the water and threaten aquatic life so let me tell you friends that the correct statement is uh, that the correct statement is uh, first is also correct second is also correct and the fourth is also correct but third is not correct yes blue green algae are a group of photosynthetic bacteria they are in actual practice they are more close to algae but they do they also have uh, they are more close to bacteria but they also uh, um, do the process of photosynthesis so they are a group of photosynthetic bacteria they are also known as a cyanobacteria so the warm and nutrient rich water promote their growth growth uh, the wa the waters in which they they the, uh, in the in which the nutrients are in high amount high concentration they, uh, in those waters we can see the the blooming of the blue green algae and friends regarding third statement third statement is not correct because these are not keystone species basically keystone species are wet but uh, keystone species are those species uh, which have an essential role to play in a particular food chain so blue green algae do do form a part of phytoplankton which is an important part of food chain but in actual part practice they only form a very small part of phytoplankton the the major phytoplankton uh, is is uh, is basically uh, the the green, green algae the proper green algae so these are not keystone species so third is incorrect fourth is correct if there is excessive growth of blue green algae it can deplete the amount of oxygen because there will be large organic matter then which have to be decom which which has to be do decomposed by bacteria and fungi and in this process oxygen is depleted and and it also threatens the aquatic life due to the usage of the oxygen by the decomposing bacteria and fungi to decompose or dead organic matter so friends the statement correct are one two and four so the answer here is uh, we have to choose the correct answer so already we have i have told you that one two and four only are correct so the solution is b so here is the justification so cyanobacteria basically it is also known as blue green algae it is uh, much larger than bacteria and they 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 photosynthesize like algae and but they are closer to bacteria and also nutrient rich bodies of water like like ponds and lakes may support the, the rapid growth of these cyanobacteria and can and can pollute the uh, uh, clear, clear water body and we can make it turbid so their higher concentration is is known as is called blooms and regarding statement three statement three is incorrect because they only form a part of the uh, the 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 phytoplankton and they are not eaten by any aquatic organisms uh, because it's so in this manner they are not keystone species as they are not crucial part of the aquatic food chain so statement three is incorrect regarding the statement four i have already told you that they can alter the lake ecosystem by reducing oxygen levels and preventing the growth of beneficial algae and producing toxins also that can directly harmful that can be directly harmful to fishes and uh, friends let's move on to your sixth question sixth question is consider the following statements about the committee on agriculture of the food agricultural organization uh, first is it is one of the F, uh, FAO's governing bodies second is it is authorized to review and dismantle trade tariffs and quotas imposed by member nations related to agricultural products third is it was founded along the world trade organization so let me tell you friends that second and third statement is incorrect only the first statement is cor correct that is it is one of the fao's governing bodies 
so committee on agriculture it is not authorized to kind of uh, to regulate the uh, international trade in agriculture and it is also not found it founded with it was not founded with world trade organization so the correct answer is one only that is b so here is the solution so here is explanation so it provides the overall policy and regulatory guidance relating to agriculture and uh, and uh, livestock food safety nutrition and rural development natural resource management in fao and it has no such authority and regulation with itself and in this way it 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 uh, it instead reviews major agricultural and uh, uh, nutritional problems and proposes uh, cons concerted action by fao's so in this context the uh, the second statement is incorrect so regarding the third statement third statement is it uh, is uh, it is also incorrect because it was established in 1971 and not in 1995 the year in which the wto was established and friends in this case uh, it it has a member this committee has 100 member nations and generally meet every 2 years so this is about your sixth question let's move on to the seventh question seventh question is which of the following play a role in nitrogen cycle on earth so friends i think uh, this is a repetition question so sorry for that it is a question that has been repeated so already i have told you that uh, all of these play an important role so sorry this is a repetition so the answer of it this you all know that answer is b so 1 2 3 and 4 so solution is already explanation i have provided to you that it is a basically nitrogen cycle uh, is basically a process through which nitrogen passes on through various stages of biosphere that is aquatic uh, life uh, and uh, and uh, atmosphere and and we can say try, uh, uh, this this uh, terrestrial life cycle so in this way i have already provided to you the, the explanation this is a basically repeti uh, rep repetition in the question so eighth question is coal gasification is the process of producing syn gas which consists of so here we have been asked that coal gasification gasification is the process so of producing syn gas uh, which consists of so syn gas is a type of gas which is produced by coal gasification and we have to tell the composition of this syn gas a methane hydrogen and water vapor only b hydrogen and carbon dioxide only c methane hydrogen carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and water vapor d carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide only so friends let me tell you that the c statement is correct that is methane hydrogen carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and water vapor is correct answer because syn gas is basically composed of these so on solution is c so basically coal gasification how it is how it takes place it is done using mixture of coal water air and oxygen so it is a mixture consisting primarily of methane carbon monoxide hydrogen carbon dioxide and water vapor so this is about your eighth question let's move on to the ninth question consider the following statements a assertion is low lying coastal areas may be permanently submerged under water due to global warming reason is glaciers melt at high temperature and heat causes water to expand in volume so friends let me tell you that yes a is correct assertion is correct because increase in global warming obviously will will be will it will increase the sea levels and in this way the lower coastal low lying coastal areas like the the uh, the, uh, the maldives maldive islands who are low lying coastal areas they will be submerged they are under the threat of the being being submerging being submerged due to the global warming and let me tell you friends that the reason is also correct because increase in temperature what causes it causes the heat uh, the heat and it which causes water to expand in volume and in this way the water water volume increases and also the glaciers melt and th in this way the low lying coastal areas would be submerged so assertion is correct and region is the correct explanation of this so we have to choose the answer so here a is a is correct and r is an appropriate explanation of a so yes a is the correct answer so solution is a so already you know about this that global warming increases temperature and also melting of glaciers and also increase in water volume which which increases ultimately the threat of so much being uh, the low lying coastal areas being submerged so let's come to the last question of the today's discussion 10th question that is consider the following about the solar system first is mercury venus and mars do not have satellites of their own second venus can be seen in the sky only during sunset third is density of planet saturn is less than that of water so we have to select the correct answer using the codes below so a is 1 and 2 only b 2 and 3 only c 3 only d 1 only so friends let me tell you 
uh, actually it is a question of geography so it has been by mistake it has been included in uh, environment so but no don't worry uh, we have to cover the general study so uh, so general study also uh, geography is also part of your syllabus so let's see what is correct let me tell you friends that mercury and venus do not have their own satellite but mars uh, mars does have its own satellite uh, that is that is uh, uh, it has two satellites of its own so first statement is clearly incorrect regarding second statement second statement is also incorrect friends because venus uh, is a is a planet and it can be seen as in the in, uh, during sunset as well as during the uh, during the uh, uh, kind of uh, at the down time so it can be seen only uh, by its as uh, not only during sunset it can be seen at the time of uh, at the time of rising or uh, 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 when the sun rises so second statement is also incorrect regarding third statement third statement friends it is correct yes the planet saturn is the planet which is uh, which is even even it ha which has even less density than water so it means by that if you place the saturn on water it will float on it so the correct answer uh, the third is correct and it is also the uh, can low it is the, also the planet that has the lowest density so the correct answer is c that is third only so the answer solution is third only so here is the explanation so it has the uh, venus and mercury do not have their own satellites but mars do does have uh, and also regarding venus yes uh, it is also seen during the sunset as well as sunrise but it is not a star so statement three is uh, Saturn has the lowest density among any planets. So it it is its density is so low that uh, it it would float if it if it was placed in water. So this is also correct because it has density of six eighty seven kilogram per meter cube. So it is a large gas planet with an atmosphere composed of hydrogen and helium. So friends, this is all about today's discussion. If you liked it, please like it, share it with your friends. And if you have any suggestion, please tell, uh, comment us and uh, tell us in the comment box. We will certainly consider it. And uh, lastly, friends, if you want to subscribe to the PDFs of these videos, you can WhatsApp us at this given number. The number is here before you. That is 89684264814. So if you want to get the the, uh, the PDFs of these, you can uh, you can message us on this number. So friends, why it is important to 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 subscribe to the PDFs because at the end of the day, you will not be able to revise the whole syllabus. Um, in in that case, you uh, you will have to kind of uh, uh, you must have some kind of notes in through which you can quickly go through and and can revise your basic concepts. So at that time, you will also not have the time to see twenty to thirty minute long video and also to read the bulky books, bulky standard books. So at that time, you must have some kind of notes to revise. So these question and answer format are the most valuable format in which you can revise your syllabus because revision always is boring. But when you do it in question answer format, it it in it keeps your uh, interest level high. Uh, because you read a question and then you go for answer its answer and if you if answer is wrong then you go for its explanation so this is the most uh, effective and time tested uh, way of revising that is using question answer format so if you want to subscribe to these pdfs you can watch whatsapp us at this number 89684264814 so friends as I, I have told you that we have six series running let me tell you the details of them and uh, friend this is the this is the detail so we have environment series the ancient india series the medieval india series the modern india the geography and the polity so friends uh, for, for these we we uh, if we provide the pdfs of the in in case you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these uh, these uh, uh, daily videos daily mcq videos you have to pay a minimum cost as we are putting in a lot of efforts. So for environment, we have kept the minimum cost that is 50. So you will be getting all the PDFs that we are that we have covered and that we will be covering till 31st May. Uh, in this in this just uh, uh, in this minimum amount of rupees 50 that is it is not for single pdf it is for the all pdfs that we will uh, cover in the forthcoming days and that we have covered till date so friends uh, by the date chosen has been why i have said that the way that you will receive all the pdfs till 31st may because on 2nd june is your prelims of upsc csc 2019 so in this way we you will be covering approximately thousand thousand questions of at least uh, uh, each topic and in this way you can see that you can get all these uh, uh, questions as we have six series currently 
so if we combine the cost of all these series uh, then the total amounts to 950 but in case you want to subscribe to it in a package format then a discount of rupees 150 is available to you that is you can subscribe to the complete package by 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 paying us minimum amount of rupees 800 and if you want to subscribe to it you can you can do whatsapp us at this given number that is 89684264815 so friends this is our number uh, so basically sorry friends so it basically this is uh, sorry so this is all the detail details about it uh, so you will be approximately getting in just rupees 800 you will be getting approximate 6000 questions so friends it is not just 6000 questions because we cover 1000 thousand questions of each topic but in in this way you will also uh, you will also be covering 24000 concepts how friends it amounts to 24000 concepts because friends ultimately when you go for upsc then it is not just about a question and its answer it is also about its explanation so when you cover uh, when you see when you revise your syllabus through question answer format then you go then you see that why a particular option is correct and why others are in, incorrect and in which context they will be correct so in this way you will you will you cover the four 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 concepts in each question as each question has four options so in this way, the, 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 the comprehensive revision takes place. So if in case you want to subscribe to these initiatives, then you can do WhatsApp us at this number. So friends, this is all about our today's video. If you liked it, please like it, share it with your friends and, plan, friend, and, and uh, please friends, do not forget to press the bell icon of our channel. If you want to remain updated about our, uh, up, uh, uh, about our initiatives that we are running on YouTube and friends, stay tuned with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.